HLS Show Me How, Fixing File and Folder Locations in Microsoft Teams. Hi, I'm your host, Michael Giannotti, and I'm a HLS or Healthcare and Life Sciences Technology Specialist for Microsoft here in the Northeast region. All right, so the genesis for today's Show Me How video really comes from yesterday, some questions I had from a customer who saw an issue where they had power users from SharePoint, very sophisticated users. They'd been using SharePoint for years to coordinate, collaborate, store content, share documents. And folks, instead of necessarily coming into Teams, as we're here in our Contoso Health team, were going straight into the underlying SharePoint infrastructure to create folders and then to add files to those, but they were seeing them as quote unquote orphaned. So if we go over here, I'm gonna start at the general tab and we're gonna go ahead and elect to open in SharePoint. And this is the view that those users were going into. Now there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, if I go to the top level of documents, you'll note that for every channel that was created here, general, Contoso Health, Main Campus, Health North, South and West, a corresponding folder was created to store the documents for that channel. But that happens on channel creation. When we create a folder underneath, as they were doing, if I come in here into folders, and I'll just say this is my demo folder, and we'll create that. It does not create a corresponding view up here at any point where we'll see that. It doesn't create a channel, nothing new is, is added. And then as they went ahead even further and then started to go into that folder and create, you know, let's just create a Word doc and we'll just go ahead and put some gobbledygook in here, blah, blah, blah. Isn't that beautiful? We're done. And there's our lovely Word doc that we just created. Um, as they created all that doc content and we'll go ahead and go back to our folder. So now we see we have this document. What they were seeing is it appeared to them as if they were now orphaned content. You could only get to it via that view and users within Teams were not seeing it. Well, there's an easy fix for this, right? So you may have users that go under the hood and do those type of activities. However, it's all SharePoint. It's all SharePoint Online. And SharePoint Online has some great features for the movement of content where you can reparent it, put it in new places that works not only within Teams itself, but outside. So I'm gonna show you both. So first of all, let's go to our little orphan here. So we've got our little orphan folder and now we wanna add this folder. I don't want this just out there. We want this to be here under general. Well, it's simple. We come in here and you can do this just for documents or for folders. We're gonna click move to. And now you can see here, we have some options, right? To the current library, to OneDrive. And then we have a list of other sites and we can browse sites. But we're gonna, this is the current library, it's here. We just wanna change it internally. And boom, look at that. It now displays the folders that are here. So I can go ahead, elect general, say move here. And it's saying it's moving it. If I actually click here, You'll see there's demo folder. And if we come up here to our view here and let's just go ahead and we'll click out, click back to there, click the files just to kind of refresh our view. There's that demo folder and there is that doc. So we've successfully reparented it so it no longer appears to be orphan. Well, the same works for content outside. Let's say you're working on a share on a document with people from your OneDrive. I did a video on this recently, but uh, it could be in OneDrive or maybe another SharePoint site. So here I have a completely separate SharePoint site. It's not tied to any of our teams. It's nothing, it's just a SharePoint site and I'm in a document library. And here is this folder with a whole bunch of documents in it. And what I wanna do is move this into that same, maybe into one of the other folders. So I can come in here and I have to, there's two options and I want to highlight them. So there's move to, which we just did. And if I select move to, you can say I can come here and oh, because we recently used this, I could go right to this Contoso Health. 
I could pick the folder I want to parent this under and drop it in there and it will remove it from here and place the content there. There is another option though. Maybe this is the authoritative source and I want to move a copy now to work with. I can do that by saying copy to health and let's say we want to place this under health north and we'll go ahead and say copy saying it's copying this item it's one item with a bunch of sub items right so that's in action it's doing this all service side behind the scenes for me take a sip of my coffee as things are going and you know we could there we go and it's done so it's moved that and all of its subsequent documents over there so if i come here now and oh boy where did i say i think i said west it might have been was it it was not so let's try south i forget which one i put it in north <laughs> there it is so i put it in the north so it's now placed that and the documents that were authoritative and this is going to continue to refresh and show the rest it's moving those under the hood as we go but it placed all that content took it and moved it for me over to here without me having to do anything right took the documents and the ones i was permission to i was able to move that bring that over and actually have it a copy of it here so you could either move all the content or you can copy but the option works the same it's easy peasy this allows you this action within sharepoint allows you to go in and quickly and easy reparent content at any time and why is that important well maybe you want to you know move content from one team to another maybe you want to move it from a channel to another maybe you want to reorganize some of your sub content right uh, so that's available. It's under the hood. But remember, if people did go and create those unparented, it's a simple training to show them how to quickly move to and have them under established. But people should never go under the hood and just create general folders unless you don't want them visible through the team itself. So that's it. It's easy peasy. If you have documents or folders that you need to move, because you somehow, you know, somebody went under the hood in Teams because they were a SharePoint power user and went to town. It's simple. You can select and you can actually grab a number of them at the same time. You can select multiples and move that content and reparent it under an established folder that corresponds to a given channel. So easy peasy. You can also do that for content that's out there in SharePoint and other places or even in your OneDrive if you've been individually collaborating on a document and want to move that over for your team. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you have questions, I actually have a, a customer call in a little bit where they're going to be asking some more. We might be spawning another video, but if you'd like to have me show you how, you can go ahead and find me at HTTPS at aka.ms slash HLS blog. That's a shortcut, uh, aka.ms slash HLS blog. It'll take you to the Microsoft Healthcare and Life Sciences blog. And I'm happy to ask your, answer your questions, want to help you and show you how. With that, this is Mike Giannotti saying, have a great day, take care, and as always, ciao.